In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a bioglyph using this key and Microsoft Paint 2010. A bioglyph is a picture that is going to tell some information about you, but when you're finished making this bioglyph, it is not going to look like you at all. You're going to need to use this key on this piece of paper to draw things to show information about yourself. For example, if you're a male, you'll be making a circular shaped head. If you're a female, which is a girl, you'll be making an oval shaped head. The next category, for example, says hair color. Straight line is blonde, curly equals black, zigzag is brunette. Brunette is the same as like brown hair. A chain of like little circles means you have red hair. Underneath here it says the number of strands indicates the month of your birthday. So for example, if your birthday is in January, you would only have one strand of hair on your head. If your birthday is in February, you would only have two strands of hair. But if your birthday was in December, you would have 12 strands of hair. Long strands indicate that you have long hair, while short strands indicate short hair. The direction your eyes are pointing shows what color of eyes you have. And if you make your eye an oval shape, it means you wear glasses or contacts. But if you make a circular shape eye, it means that you don't. Your eyebrows show what your favorite color is. Your nose shape shows how you get to school. Your necklace shows if you're on a sports team or in band or in a club. The, um, your ears show how many sisters you have on one ear, how many brothers you have on the other ear. It says use dots inside the ear to indicate the number of siblings. Dots in an upper ear means you have an old, older sibling. Dots in the lower ear mean you have a younger sibling. So, for example, if you had a sister, you would make it on the left ear. You would make a dot. And if she was older than you, you'd put the dot up high. If she was younger, down low. The shape of your mouth shows how you feel about science. Your cheeks show what kind of ice cream you like. And the number of freckles on your face shows the date of your birthday, and the number of eyelashes you have shows the number of pets that you have. So now I'm going to show you how to create a bioglyph using paint. So you'll have your key out next to you, and you'll look at the key. So for face shape, girls will make ovals, boys will make circles. All you do is you choose the circular shape and paint, and we're just going to leave it on the color black, because um, when we print, it's not going to come out in color anyway. So remember, boys, you do a, oval, a circle. Girls, you do an oval. If you draw your face shape and you don't like it, hit the undo arrow and just redo it. You just hold your finger down to drag. Okay? After you're done making your face shape, hair color. My hair is kind of, kind of a blondish color. And my birthday is in March, so I would choose the straight line, and I would make January, February, March. Okay? Now, my, the eye color. It says that blue eyes go pointing towards the left. So I'm going to choose the circular shape. I'm going to draw two eyes. Oh, and I do wear contacts, so I should make my eye kind of an oval shape. If you wear contacts or glasses, it's supposed to make them kind of an oval shape. And I need to make them pointing towards the left because I have blue eyes. You have to look at the key to see what, which direction to make your eyes pointing. I'm going to fill some paint to color out in the inside. For eyebrows, let's see, your favorite color. My favorite color is blue, so I need to make zigzag eyebrows. You could do this in a couple ways. You could use the straight line tool, or you could choose a paintbrush tip 
and draw them. I think I'm going to use the straight line tool, and I just go up, and then I go through, and then I got to connect them together like this. Looks like you can kind of move those around too, so you might have to click in a different place to draw your line. Okay. If you end up not liking the way something looks, like, mm, I'm not sure if I like my eyebrows, you can always choose the undo arrow to undo things as many times as you want. I think I might try the paintbrush. You can also choose the size button to make your line a little skinnier. So I'm going to do mine like this. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down. That shows that my favorite color is blue. Now I look at my key again. For noses, this is how you get to school. Triangle pointing up rides the bus. Pointing down rides in a car or a van or a truck. Circle is rides a bicycle. Square is walk. I usually drive my van to school, so I'm going to get a triangle pointing. Looks like it makes it pointing up. I guess I need to flip this over. Let's see. Rotate 180 degrees. There we go. You pick rotate 180 degrees that flips over the triangle. Now we're on to the necklace. If you make a circle on your necklace, that means you're on a sports team. Rectangle means you're in band or chorus, which means you like to sing. A star means you're in a club like Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, or any kind of group. Um, if there's no charms on your necklace, then you're in none of the above. I'm just going to use my paintbrush tool. Maybe draw some shoulders first. And you might want to draw your necklace. And if you're on more than one of those things, you could put all of those shapes on your necklace. I'm not really on a sport team, but I do like to run, so I think that would be kind of like a sport. So I'm going to put a circle shape on my necklace. Maybe I'll fill that in with some black paint so you can see it better. Okay. Next, I'm going to do the ear. Remember, the ear on the left shows how many sisters you have. The ear on the right shows how many brothers you have. So you draw your ears on. And then, say I'm just going to make the size of my paintbrush a little bit bigger. I have a sister that is younger than me, so I put one dot down here. Now I have a brother that's older than me, so I put a dot up here, and I also have a brother that is younger than me, so I put the dot at the bottom. Now we're moving on to the mouth. A smile means you love science, straight line means you think it's okay, zigzag means you think science is scary, and a frown means you don't like science. Science is actually one of my favorite subjects, along with technology, so I'm going to make a smile. On to freckles. The number of freckles shows the date of your birthday. Now my birthday is March 13th. So I need to make 13 freckles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And last, the number of eyelashes indicates the number of pets you have. I have three dogs and I have one cat. So I have four. I think it would be alright if you make each eye match each other. So if I make, I'm going to make four eyelashes on each eye. One, two, three, four. To show that I have that many pets. Four pets. Okay? When you're finished creating your bioglyph, notice this does not look anything like me. It just represents some information about myself. I'm going to show you how to save it and how to print it. To save it, you click the blue button. You go down to Save As. You choose Computer. And over here, you'll see a drive called the H drive. So look for the H. And then right here, we'll just name it Bio. And then you'll click Save. Okay? After you're done saving it, to print it, you click Office button, print, and then click print again, 
and it will come out of the printer. That's how you create a bioglyph using paint.